Alright guys, up on the roof. Um, you can hear the birds chirping in the background. The beach is quite calm, it's a little bit sunny. The sun's just out of sight. I'll just come around here a little bit so the wind's not going to affect the mic. Um, don't let others define you. I think this is an important one because I hear a lot of people out there with issues. You know, they've had problems in uh, normally by others. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be that you know, for example, they've had a bad family life. They've had um, bad relationships. They've had something that has affected them in a negative way and they let it carry on and it becomes an excuse for not doing something about it. My personal view is you're responsible for yourself. Now we all make bad decisions, we all have sometimes bad partners, uh, problems in life, education and experience comes with time. So. A mistake for example you made 15 years ago you wouldn't make the same mistake again because you've had time knowledge experience um, to sort of circumvent a lot of those sort of things you know it's a bit like when people have bad relationships they often won't walk into a similar setup um, but also if you let the previous experiences control things you may not get into another relationship because you you tar everybody with the same brush. Um, for me, it's important to just learn that everything's experience. No matter what it is, you know, if something bad, ha really bad happens, you know, take it as experience. I mean, I've had some issues like with my siblings and stuff, but walk off a duck's back because for me. It was drawing a line under it and walking away. There was no value in it, in getting involved in their problems and no value in them making their lives my problem. Um, but that comes from being able to say, well, when I look at it, it's doing a lot for um, others and getting dragged down with no, no benefit and no serious change. Because don't get me wrong, Sometimes you could have somebody in a bad spot and you know, they could be a bit depressed or um, Gone through a bad relationship and you, you put a bit of effort in there trying to turn them around I mean, Invested a bit of time in that in there to try and get them in the right path That's the right thing to do but if you know they start to Drag drag you down and you start deteriorating with it with no outcome to it. You're wasting your time um, and I've got a few people over the years that still check in on and try and sort of push them in the right direction but I know unless they want to make those changes I'm wasting my time um, but I just like to prod them every now and again because they they talk about making the change that's the difference they talk about it they just don't want to put the effort in um, but don't get your problems in life or experiences in life drive your future. You, you need to understand that everything's yours. It's for you to control. If you let something that happened to you five years ago, 10 years ago, whatever, control what you're doing, you've made yourself a prisoner of, of yourself. Um, and you can blame, they did this to me, this is it. It's like, they did that to you at that moment in time. You need to push past that. Um, it was like, I can't remember who said it to me, it's, it's like the, it's to do with ex-girlfriends, it was like the, uh, the worst you can do to an ex is be successful. Because um, they, they, you know, want to see you miserable, you know, oh no, I want to see them happy. Of course they don't, <laughs> of course they don't. Because <laughs> then they can do a comparison about, well, where they would be now if they were still with you, all that sort of stuff. And I know... I don't think predominantly men think that way, but from women I've spoken to, it seems to be one of those things that does go through some people's heads. Um, so, I mean, even that, there's no point dwelling on it. Move on. 
there's more to life and um, a friend of mine's had a couple of bad relationships you know back to back uh, but reality um, it makes him more independent in the sense of he can see what the problems were in those relationships doesn't stop him looking for a new relationship it just means he won't put up with the stuff he put up with previously because he knows where it led um, and that that's that sort of thing it's the same as if you're in financial troubles don't, oh I can't do anything about it of course you can of course you can the last thing any financial institute wants is for somebody to completely default and pay nothing they will try and get you to pay what you can and find a solution to that because the last thing you they want to hear is the word bankrupt because it puts you back to zero and you know, people go oh well you can't get a credit rate for the future blah 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 and sometimes i look at it and go right as i say i count things in years so somebody that's got when you tally up their wages and everything else 35 years of debt um, that is going to stress them completely financially drain them and keep them stuck in limbo I would actually say you're probably better off going bankrupt and I know some people are going to give me a thumbs down on that, but the reason being is it sets you back to zero and you go well I can't get a, I can't get a loan I can't get this I don't have loans the only loan I have like I say is on this property and to be perfectly blunt with you my credit rating was probably as bad as some of the people um, that have defaulted because I didn't have a credit rating uh, when I come back to Europe I've been overseas too long so don't assume it's the end of the world because some people like to portray that but you've got to get your, your house in order and think I'm not going to be happy being locked into this for 35 years or whatever um, I'm not going to go into the financial side of it, but it was just the point of analyse things and understand where you want to be and what, what you want to achieve. Me, I'm sitting in my office. As you can see, I'm still missing all the glazing. <laughs> this is where I want to be. This is what I want to achieve. I want this this all gone. Nice glass there. So I can sit and enjoy the view of the, the beach. Um, and this is my workspace and as you can see at this time of day it's perfect for working up here the sun's not on top of it gets the sun in the morning which means it will heat the house you know because the doors here you leave it let it build up first thing in the morning then open the doors the heat travels down the house in in winter time um, but like I say the focus is on where you want to go don't let things lock you into where you are you know, it's a bit like when people beat um, cancer, alcoholism, um, drug abuse or something. I don't knock any of those people because they've come out the other side of something that was controlling them. And I say, you know, even you know, with cancer, it, it, cancer is probably in the same sort of space because you cannot control it addiction is one of those things that's very similar in the sense of if you can't get that under control uh let's be honest though one of the big differences is with cancer is um you've got treatments that are medical but the impact of having something that severe can change your outlook which is why i sort of put them together because once you come out of the same side with addiction it can reshape your entire life you start looking at things in a different way you remember uh, years ago um, there, was, there was a guy I know that um, was very well as bad as I am work wise obsessed with work um, and uh, got cancer out of the blue didn't expect it you know it took him a year of treatment and stuff and it, it knocked him around and after that not as dedicated to work in fact because he was one of the owners of the business his focus become going to play golf spending time with the family and just letting the business sort of carry on it wasn't being down the down at the uh, the business trying to make the business get any bigger more successful his focus had just completely changed to a family orientation um, and that's see that's the, even for me I know the 
I get obsessed with work, which is why here is important because as I start to unlock where I want to be and stuff again, um, my work life balance will start heading more to family and less to work. Um, that's why when we agreed to do the getting the house and stuff, I put it on a five year plan because I'm not going to extend past that five years. The, the house is the important thing. Um, and then this, you know, house and family, it's all tied together. Work is means to an end. That's it. You know, I've spent too many years on this and I've worked with too many companies that uh, are financially driven, not really into the values of their own people. Um, it's more about what they can provide and the industry in at the moment. I do, do seem to see a lot of um, burn and churn. I'll just let this noisy motorbike go past. I'm sure he's going to rev it as he goes around the corner. There you go. Um, so they'll, they'll have a high churn of staff, but they'll run the staff to the point of they leave or they're burned out and they just get somebody else. But guess what? You do that on a constant basis, what the industry has been doing. People are leaving the industry en masse. Um, but that's, like, like I'm saying, I recognize that's how this business works. This Not the particular company I'm with, but just the industry. Um, so I look at it that way. I look at the fact that it's not healthy to be in this long term. It's not um, healthy on multiple levels for my own health, for the dynamics of a family life, and the facts of um, what I want to achieve in life. Because if you get locked into it, you don't have much of a social life. You don't have a lot of time to do your own stuff. So you've got to think, how do I get out of this? And this is part of this parcel of the same thing. I recognize the problem. I recognize financially, it's a means to an end because financially I could probably make, well, I'm probably making five times more than I would if I was just working in Spain. That, that's just realistic. So that's for every year I do with this, it's five years of life in Spain, which is why you probably wonder how I can pay the house off so quick. It's because quite simply, my commitment is to get the house gone. That's what, um, but financially it's because of the work I do. It, it allows me to do that. Um, Otherwise, I could be sat here working for 15, 20 years and paying the house off on very, I can't say very low rate of wages because to be fair, it's a different marketplace because um, the cost of living is better, you know, cheaper and the, 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 um, the lifestyle is far, far superior. I mean, so you've got to, got to gauge it. So that's what I say, five years and I'm out because that's, that's exactly where I want to be. Um, the other side of that being is it drives me to stop my stagnation because it's very easy to slip into this because you've got good income, steady steady travel back and forward, get a good standard of living, but you just stay in there. Um, where driving it forward is coming out of the industry or fight, trying to diversify to do more remotely which makes it much harder to do and that leap and transition is the hard work um, because you, you drop into a comfort zone of steady good income etc easy to do you just got to turn up do your job and go home when you start doing it as consultant you've got to bring in new clients you've got to you know, diversify you've got to retrain you've got to find other ways to make other incomes which no problem doing I mean I survived out in the Philippines in a country that doesn't really uh, support foreign uh, employment <laughs> you know so you you find a way to make an income but the whole point of this video is is don't let anything lock you into your past always look forward either in your present or the future the past is irrelevant the past is only relevant as experience learn from it don't dwell on it don't let it hold you back just move forward thanks for watching